It all started with this Facebook post, asking if anyone knows those who were born on October 1, 1960. Good enough, a number of suggestions came out, some from the same year, others quite not. I took the risk of asking for few permissions, some declined, some connections not realizable, and some others came with positive feedback. I eventually settled for George Umo and Yin Kalawal, who were born on that exact day Nigeria gained independence. For them, it is always a great feeling sharing a date with Nigeria, especially when they were much younger. Those of us who were born on the first always had, you know, your parents, there was a special thing. The government at some point, I think, had special thing for it a special thing for people who were born about that time. But um, with time, like everything has fizzled out in the country. I'm so happy that um, the, same, the same year with Nigeria. Share your stand. Yeah. Because I normally mark it every year. For Mrs. Lawal, who is a businesswoman, and Mr. Omo, an auto mechanic, they wished Nigeria progressed in all of its sectors just as they are recording success in their lives. Every time you look at the country and you look at um, the resources we, we have in this country, both um, um, the external resources out there and we, the individuals, um, you really wish we were way beyond where we are now because Really, no country in the world has the resources that Nigeria has. We, we hope that if the thinking of the uh, regular Nigerian is changed from time to not we, the adults, because if you really want to change this country, you have to start from the children. Like uh, America, I'm not being in America, but I used to had this from telly that God bless America. And there is no Nigeria that says that uh, God bless Nigeria. Share your stand. And we have many things in Nigeria that can make us okay. For others born on the same day but different years, the story is not exactly different. Being better mates with Nigeria comes with mixed feelings. Some good, others not so good. As much as we have our own issues, we're still a united country. And then um, there's a lot of things going for us. I mean, um, we can see what's happening in other countries, natural disasters. We hardly have, ever have any of that. So I think it's actually a good thing and people need to know that as a country we should be happy and we should be celebrating it. There's no other place like my country, Nigeria. I love my country and um, I'm just trusting God that good things will be going on in our country. 73-year-old Ambassador Farumbi, who was born on October 1, recalled how the independence changed the status and outlook of Nigeria. But all of that has changed. Nigeria is has Stop being proud of his own battery. Uh, October 1 has become meaningless to Nigeria, uh, which is no more uh, longer celebrated. Um, all other days have become more important to Nigeria than its own battery. Uh, so over time now, you don't feel any excitement sharing battery with Nigeria. As a matter of fact, you sometimes feel depressed. When somebody like me, you find that Nigeria are not fulfilled with um, promising. In 1960, Nigeria was the greatest giant in African farming. And Nigeria's prime minister was the golden voice of Africa. All of that had changed. We stopped from being a show piece a showcase of democracy, a showpiece of uh, good governance. We have now become the exact opposite of the past. So you don't feel any excitement any longer sharing a bad deal with me. For all of them, a lot more can be done to make Nigeria great again, with everyone, government and the people playing their part in the jigsaw puzzle of fixing the fixables. Aditola Coyote, Lagos Television News.